Today's topic is industries in India. What is an industry? Industry is a place where the raw materials are converted into the useful and uh, necessary products. So for converting the raw materials into the useful process, we need first of all to identify what are the raw materials. Then after the raw materials are identified, they have to be carried to the spot of the place where an industry is set up. So we need transport. After taking them to the required place, again we need the machinery. Then again we need a skilled persons or the people to work and convert them. That is known as skilled or unskilled labor. So these after these raw materials, transportation, machinery and the skilled and the unskilled labor, we are the final people who design the things and get the output. This output will reach to the market. The raw materials, transport, machinery, skilled and unskilled labor output. These are the main factors for any person to find out about the industries. Now moving on to the topic, industries in India. Before the Britishers arrived to India, India is not having much industries located. But as soon as India achieved independence and became republic in 1950, the focus towards the development of the industries has been concentrated clearly in order to attain self-sufficiency in various fields. So that gave the initiative to develop the industries of iron and steel industries, TISCO. All these industries were started during this period. We got collaboration of the units from the abroad like German, Russian. All these have added for us. So this made the Indian government to concentrate on the development of the industries and during the second five-year plan the key focus was to develop the industries this has generated the sources of industries in india now once the industries have been started to develop in india we have been seeing the places where the industries are located as i told you earlier the industries will be mainly located where these five factors are affected you can see in the previous time when the Britishers have ruled us, they have decided to keep the places which are having free transport accessibility, where ports are located like Mumbai, Kolkata and Chennai. These three places became the major industrial hubs because they have the accessibility of transportation freely within the nation and as well as to the other parts of the world through ships. So Britishers used to make the products to travel through ships more. So they have developed the regions of Mumbai, Kolkata and Chennai in order to have more accessibility to their products. So the transportation plays a vital role in the development of industries. Even today, these regions are well developed in regarding to industries because of their flexibility of transport, availability of the raw materials, availability of the skilled and the unskilled labor. All this transportation of interconnected air transportation and the outer transportation. So as the time passed on, we have various industries located at various places. For example, in the class 7, we have discussed about the paper industry. Paper industries are located at Sirpur for us in Andhra region. Why they are located only in Sirpur? Because we have forests which are nearby to Sirpur region where the raw materials can be transferred very easily to that place. From there, we can make the papers and we can finalize the product. We have labor, we have machinery to do all these things. And in this process, we learned how an industry works. It may be a small industry, it may be a large industry, it may be run in a small shed or asbestos shed, or it may be run 
under a huge building but the mechanism requires the same format is the raw materials has to be brought it has to be done with the manual labor then machinery has to take place machine has to scrutinize them cut them or do the required models for that and then we have the market going into the output and the selling of the product these all are a continuous chain of process in order to have industries if you discuss about the cycle industry for making of cycle we need the steel iron and steel that is a basic raw material for us that has to be shaped then you get the raw form of the cycle then you can add for that accessories and you get the final product output so these all we need the raw materials and as soon as india attained its independence and started to focus on the development in the first five year plan it has started its attention towards the first five year plan in the agriculture the second five year plan was seriously dedicated for the development of the industrial sector so they have kept the main target in the second five year plan to initiate the development of the industrial sector in the industries we have various types of industries small scale industries large scale industries and the medium scale industries small medium and large small scale coming less than 5 lakh investments medium from 5 to 25 lakhs larger 25 to 1 crore so these have divided the industries into different different categories and again we have the division of the industries into the agricultural based industries known as agro based industries the non agricultural based industries known as mineral based industries so this gives a brief outlook of what are industries industries are the places where the raw materials are collected they have been cleaned then they have to be made into the proper form of the shape required then they have to be done with the skill labor machinery does the work and finally you get the output to the market place where raw materials are converted into a final useful product is called an industry and then we need for the development of industries we need the concentration of the raw materials very nearby then we need good transport facilities we need machinery for us skilled and unskilled labor and then the product comes to the connectivity to the market places all these things add for the places and then moving on to the types of industries basing on the investment we call them as small scale industries medium scale industries large scale industries basing on the product output or like on what raw materials they take we call them if they are basing on the agricultural based output or agriculture related products we call them as agro based industries if they are basing on non agricultural based output that is called mineral based industries so like this we have the different categories of industries now in this chapter we shall analyze and discuss what are the key industries what are the factors that have led like this to make kolkata a good hub for a particular product or mumbai for textiles ahmedabad for cotton jute why is it developing jute there so these all factors one by one we shall discuss and we shall understand what is the importance of industries in the growth of india